Good morning, ladies. Rosie Bloom will be here in a minute or two. She's just doing her final uh, preparations for being ready to be down here with us for, oh, an hour or so. And so hubby's helping me, but they'll be here in a second. So before we get into introducing Rosie, because I will be introducing Rosie every video that I can um, to do with this hashtag, because she uh, kind of has been, you know, my joy and I want to share my joy with you guys. So this is what I do for the first five to 15 minutes. Good morning, Michelle. How are you, sweetie? I go through this journal, which I made last year in a, hi, Mrs. Gigi, that I went through and made with the collaboration with Sarah over at Crafting and Relaxing. And the link is down in my description. And um, it was a very fun collaboration and we're extending it into this year. And so I added how I have the 2020, I added two, one, a domino. So that gives me uh, a little bit of, <laughs> so this closure is an elastic closure, right? Just a regular old piece of elastic you would use in sewing and a knob from Tim Holtz. And the cover is mixed media. Inside, I'm pretty sure, I really should put a bookmark, but I'm pretty sure that we got to, I remember telling you about that. Yeah, I think we got to about here. So this is a journaling card opportunity. So it has um, folded up and then inside there, hi Car Carla, it has, the pocket for a couple little tags. Okay, so you pull this out of here, unfold it, and then you have your journaling. And I took and um, took a piece of paper that I had put or that I had printed out my um, image on, and then I put gesso, white gesso, so that I could write on top of it. Right now. Let's get this back folded up properly, which you know how those things best laid plans, as I always say. There we go. Tucks underneath there. And then the two little. So this is just a kind of a secret little journaling area that is a fun kind of not origami, but it's along those lines. Hello, Melissa. How are you, sweetie? You got another package yesterday, Carla. Oh, my gosh. Have you seen what I did to your first? Yes. Oh. You guys, that is so beautiful. What's going on over there at Mimi's house? <laughs> oh, okay. So, and then um, again, the plastic tabs here, which are always fun with journals, is to have tabs made out of anything from fabric, the tags to clothing I just seen on Jovi's channel um, uh, last night, and um, plastic labels. Because you can staple them, you can use different types of things that you don't have to worry about glue. Right. So, OK, the center has these little circles that I uh, cut out and glued onto. Let me bring this up here. This is one of the things I wanted to show you guys. You don't always have to have charms. This is literally just cardstock glued together on the on the tip of the string. Right. So it could be hearts. It could be flowers. It could be little cutouts. It could be anything. Hi, Annie. Thank you for coming, sweetie. Um, Let's see. And then over here, again, I took a image off of Pixabay. I recommend Pixabay.com to everyone who doesn't have a lot of stash because you can print out something that will work for what you're working with and you don't have to invest, right? Let's say this just isn't a time where you have the extra money to invest in things. So I found this image of a tree that is in the shape of a heart in a red field and I fussy cut it and then I put my tags behind there. Right, so, and then the tags are layered up and stamped. Did you see that? They're stamped on there and then they are uh, left on the back because um, this was a red, white, and blue. So it was okay to have everything be white that uh, wasn't um, decorated, but uh, for journaling, right? So there's that. Now let's do one more page and then we will get on our way. Here's another, boy, I did a lot of altered paper clips, didn't I? But I had a lot of these little, you know, in the paper packs, how they come. So 
And then this was my homage to COVID, right? This is another altered paper clip. This one though has a dangle that I made out of a paper clip, sweetie. This happy life and then just little charms and things hanging off of it. So that's two paper clips, a jump ring, and then some doodads. And that's all that little contraption is. Oh, thank you, Melissa. But yeah, my, my COVID uh, flip out, uh, social distancing. Now, remember, this was back last year in the midst of the whole thing before we started feeling like everything was going to be okay. All right, so I'm going to set this aside, my chunky monkey, and bring another chunky monkey up here. <laughs> She's excited. She's like, do I get to meet everybody? I we just brought her back from being outside. So here's Rosie. Now, you know, ladies, pretty soon she will not fit very well on this table. But for right now, she's still so little. But you know what? She is, um, she's potty training really well, aren't you, pumpkin? And she is learning to sit, which I don't have any treats. So I can't, I don't want to, I don't want to make her disillusioned. What? I didn't get a treat. But uh, let's, can you look at the camera? No. Just a little bit, just a little, just a little face, just a little bit of your face. <laughs> I'm sorry about the high pitched voice, guys. I just, when I'm around her, I baby talk a lot. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like I love her so much. So I'm going to put her back in the pen and uh, give her her bowl of food. And hopefully she'll settle down and be good for us for a bit. But, you know, we're just going to, this series, you guys, is me and Rosie. And if Rosie interrupts us, we'll just, we'll make it work, won't we? Because we love Rosie. Because Rosie's so sweet. She's my baby. I'll be right back. All righty, Rosie. So I have a dish of food right here. She hasn't had breakfast yet, so she's going to be excited to eat. Okay. Oh, and I knocked off my... Her claws are so sharp, her little claws. This is my dirty, dirty, awfully well-loved, worn and worn out scoreboard. Right, because I'm really bad to want to. I'm kind of like Annie about the inky stuff and spraying and doing stuff, so I get stuff all over. But we're using a scoreboard today. If you have a scoreboard, oh my nails! My nails are boho today. They are pink, purple, and red, and it matches the journal. The only thing I don't have is a pop of teal, but you know what? I just didn't feel like going that far with it. <laughs> you baby talk to your peanut. The snorts, I know, I know. And and Melissa baby talks to Sadie Mae. I feel a little better. I, you know, it's been just been a long time since I've had a puppy in the house. And uh even then when I the back when I had Molly, she was bigger. She wasn't so little, little to where you just felt like she's gonna be a baby forever. So this is our I finished it. I got the last signature inside. I made a dangle um, with the button at the top. Some, these are actually handmade beads. And then um, the uh, bead dangle at the bottom with an owl, which is a, a little homage to my mother. I don't know if I use that word properly, but I'm just going to go with it. So I put a red button here because I had this signature's tie come out the back. And I wanted to do that so you guys could see that there's more options than always the ties going inside the center of the signatures, right? So then what we have is I tied some of the beautiful yarn that Mimi gave me, Melissa gave me, and that covered up any of my kind of seams or uh, connectors, you know, just have a little bit of dangly. You did sew them together, awesome. I did not make the beads. The beads were purchased, but they, um, you can tell that they are made with paper. Have you seen those handmade beads where you roll them up? These are those, but I did not make them. I want to someday get to do that, but I have not done it as of yet. So let's do a quick flip through of what we have so far, which is not much because we've just got our signatures sewed in. Last week was signatures and, um, we did fabric flips. Um, I did add this. This is a belly band. And I wanted to share with you that today's um, task is two pocket tucks and two 
belly bands, right? Hi, hi, Kiki. You can do them any way you want, right? This is just what, how I'm giving out some, some inspiration. Okay. So, but you can take things and leftovers that you're not using for, you know, that are cutoffs or castoffs or scraps and things. This one, I punched the edge and then I layered up this saying that was part of this paper pack. This is the graphics 45 uh, paper pack that, uh, oh my goodness, I'm not going to still have the edge of it to be able to tell you what the name of it is, but it's a floral collection and uh, earth, la earth laughs in flowers. I just thought that was so beautiful. And so I layered that on top of the pink and then the pink had this little pop of lavender in here, which goes with this over here. The yellow here goes with this goldish color here. So although this page and this page do not match, they also have very similar colors. And that's the thing that for people that are starting out in this, um, there's a lot of techniques and that's the fundamental basics, but there's also some style issues. Let me get a drink of water. And that's where you don't want colors. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. You, you want to have complementary or positively contrasting colors facing each other. Now, <coughs> now cough drop time. I haven't coughed all morning. Okay, this together works. Then if I want to, I can come over here and do a completely different set of colors, right? Completely different. Colors that would not work with this at all, but because this page flows okay, then over here I can make this page flow okay. And then I can go over here and I can go over here. So not every page as you goes along has to match, but if you have pages facing each other, that's where I recommend you try to find a good flow. All righty. So what I've done here is I've used my scoreboard and I've taken a five and a half by five and a half square of double-sided paper. We're going to be working with both double-sided paper and one-sided paper. The double-sided paper, I like to make these flip-ups, right? So let's find a page. Boy, I kind of kind of like that. There's our there's our Melissa page. Isn't that gorgeous? The centerpiece. And then what I did is I tied off this safety pin here to hang something off of if I wanted to. But let's go to the front and see where we're at. Let's just see. So this actually looks nice right here. Okay. So I used a punch and I'm going to show you the punches that I've used, but you do not, if you don't have punches, you could use um, your scissors to make a wavy um, or, a, or you could use a corner, a rounder corner to get yourself what you want. You can, um, in this one, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but in this one, which is the same thing, only a four by four, I actually punched a circle in it. And I can put a little sticker or emblem or glue a charm down or um, layer up an image that, you know, I a little flower. And then that would be a kind of a focal point, right? Okay, so let's get this one in. When you're putting in um, a corner tuck spot, most important thing is, one is to figure out which direction you're going which side you want down. It doesn't always matter. Maybe sometimes it does. That's up to you. I, I like it like this because I, uh, <coughs> I don't know, ladies. It was meant to be one of those days. Okay. I'm going to glue along the edge. Like that. Right? You see that? Three, or not three sides. One, two. I'm going to set it in this corner right up against the two edges. 
I'm going to hold it for a second. The glue I'm using today right now happens to be Aline's Clear, clear Gel Tacky Glue. It's an all-purpose adhesive. It dries clear. It's not my favorite glue, but it's the one that I have here ready to go. Getting ready to drink your tea. That's awesome. <laughs> All righty. So now we flip this up. You can, and it would be beautiful to do so, say layer up on here with a piece of white paper to be to be written on or light colored paper or you can leave it and someone um will just enjoy the fact that it's a beautiful image it's up to you that glue boo i i it's not my favorite i'm using it up and i won't buy it again but i don't throw things away unless i actually have to okay so there's our first corner corner Corner. There's our first corner tuck. Now, what I have here is a, a wide variety of different tags so that I could put them in the tuck spots and you guys could see the different sizes that work. So we have pretty much a regular size, two and a half by about five. Yes, you heard my puppy bark. She says, no, I don't think so. I want back on camera. And then this little one here. So there's three different size tags in there. There's also things like journaling cards, right? I made a card that I could throw in there. No. No. <laughs> She's tilting her head. Pugs tilt their head. It's adorable. It's adorable. Okay, so there is our first tuck spot. So I made the square the size of the width of my paper. Does that make sense, ladies? Let me find my ruler, which is right here. My page is five and a half inches wide. I made my square five and a half inches wide. Then I folded it in half diagonally. If my page is four inches wide, which is what I did with this one, then I want to I want to um, make my square four inches wide because that's how wide this will be, okay? And if you make your square too big, it won't fit. You'll have to cut it off, which is fine. You can do that too. She's upset about the glue. <laughs> uh, I might have to burn the glue. Should we just burn it right here on camera? <laughs> My favorite glue is Helmar um, 4, 450 um, and then Tombow Green. But uh, like I said, I'm just trying to use it up, get it out of here. So there's our first tuck spot. I think I, yeah, and I have one belly band. So we have one belly band. See that? Um, I glued and then added more glue on the outside of it and then put washi over it because I wanted this blue to take out, the, uh, pick out the color of this blue. So now we have tuck spot square piece of cardstock that is double-sided or does not have to be folded in half and i did this corner punch on the tip of it <laughs> do you know how high i would be after we burned that glue it's hard enough to work the rest of the day with using glue all day and alcohol inks oh my gosh they'll get me every time too all righty so let's put in this one i made um this one is double-sided cardstock it is almost eight inches and i folded it at the four inch and i wanted to make a flip up with it but it's upside down maybe i'll go side to side maybe i won't use it Maybe I'll switch over to this one. Okay, so this one needs to be on a larger page. Let's go over to, and so we have one corner tuck, one. Let's see. This is the fun part, ladies, is picking the pages. The thing is, is the pages need to be strong enough 
to handle what you're gluing to them. Yeah, glitter glue, I do that too. The Hilmar I get online on doc, um, on Amazon. I, for, I don't know, two years now, I have had it sent to me every month. I do the Amazon re repeat. That way I don't run out. I don't have to worry about it. This has some green in here and this has green. So I'm going to glue this one right here. This one, I glued one, two, three sides. So this is a bottom pocket slash, so there's journaling area there, slash tuck spot. All right. And there is our tucks and, or, um, You've never heard of Helmar? Uh, I found it almost three years ago, and I literally just haven't bought anything else. All of this stuff I bought before it, and I'm trying to get rid of it because I had a drawer full of um, glues. I was just looking back at the pup. And I just like, I don't want to have a drawer full of glue. I want to have an empty drawer I can put something I want in. So I brought the glues out and decided I'm going to start using them. Okay, so this can be decorated up, of course. This could have um, fabrics laid on there, uh, collage little snippets. It could it could have anything. You could staple something on there. You can glue something on there. But um, the decorating part, you guys, there's so much inspiration in the world. I'm trying to make sure that, that we get the fundamentals. Nope. 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 She likes to argue with me. She's like, uh, mom, I don't know if you realize how cute I am, but you are not able to say no. <laughs> and I say, yes, I can. I'm going to keep trying. I can say no. See, and if, if it wasn't that I was on camera, I would have, I would have picked her up and taken her outside. I don't pick her up and cuddle her, but I'll, I'll pick her up and do something functional, like go outside to go potty or something. So let's do another belly band. This time, let's score this in half. So some of them I wanted to have done ahead of time. Some of them I uh, felt comfortable that we could do them together. So this is this is about four inches. So in the half range, I am going to score it in half. I have this fun punch right here, which is this lacy flower. This is one I've had for a long time. I'm going to, and I always look at it through the back. Punching is is kind of like, um, gosh, I don't even know what to say. Uh, it's like, but it's very personal. Some people do it one way, and it's the only way they know how or want to do it. Some people do it another way. I do it where I look at the back because that's the only way I can figure these stupid things out. I used to hate punches. This whole measuring thing and figuring out, put, no, not even going to happen. Not with me. Okay, so that's gorgeous. Look at that. You like that? Hi, Christina. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I definitely appreciate it. It would just be me talking and listening to my pup yell at me. This is the other one. Okay, pause. We're going to pause this. This is what I wanted to challenge you guys to do. But if you don't want to do it or are not comfortable doing it, you don't have to. But I sat in bed and thought about it. And I decided, yes, this paper is Graphics 45. It's, um, I can buy wholesale from them. So I, I bought like a ton of these. Uh, there's eight styles of this floral paper front and back. Um, I made what I'm calling a three-tiered petal tuck three tiered petal tuck and i call it petal because i have a flower and i cut them in the shape of a, of petals okay this is one layer this is two layer and this is the third layer graphics 45 the only thing that i like better than graphics 45 you guys is chow bella i am a chow bella girl to the day i die but graphics 45 is my um, American favorite. But Ciao Bella is from Italy, and that's the paper that I 
that I just absolutely adore. So watch this. We have three tech spots here, which are really fun. So if you guys, this will be like extra credit. Okay. Three, write that down. If you're following along in that way, stamp period is gorgeous. Mrs. Gigi. It really is. Chow Bella for me, just, just kind of is a little bit like Chow Bella and, and Stamperia, honestly, you could interchange some of their paper packs and almost not tell which, which company it is. They look so similar. Whoever um, is designing them over in Italy is definitely got a style. So if you want to get extra credit, definitely try this three tiered, three tiered petal tuck. Okay. You have a tuck spot here, you have a tuck spot here, and you have a tuck spot here. Three tuck spots. I think that is fun. And um, I did it with the flower theme because of the, the petal, the name with the petal. So anyways, I thought that was fun. I thought that up laying in bed trying to think of what I was going to try to entice you guys. Exactly. I did because it's three layers. I used mini staples, but there is glue between every layer. And then I used the mini staples right around the edge because I didn't want the, the load of these three card socks, you know. Yep, I did. Hi, Sheila. The angel paper. Oh, yeah. You're doing a collage of angels. Oh, wow. Oh, pictures of Sean. That is so sweet, Kiki. All righty. So I'll get back to this. So there's, so we have our square corner tuck, right? Right here. We have our three tiered petal tuck right here, which is an extra credit. Um, um, remember when I, when I um, stenciled her in upside down, I tore her out, glued her back in. She's fine. That's how quick and easy it goes. I'm wondering, I kind of like that. Do you see that pop? Do you see that that little bit of fiery orange in there? Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm gonna put this on here on in the middle, so it's gonna be a belly band. I'm going to glue first, then staple because um, when you're pulling and tugging on things, pulling things in, pushing them out maybe even um oh gosh you know what that's the page that's lined i don't know if i should do that let me keep looking i wonder if it would oh there we go what do you think about that Is that too much red on one page can you have too much red on one page i'm not a red fan but Let me just keep looking. It kind of pops on that one, but it's not quite tall enough for that one. All my lined pages are the ones I was thinking about when I seen this red. Let's do it on here. So now you can have your belly band go all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. Mine is I'm using a scrap, and so it's not going to be able to go all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. I am going to come in with my petite velour little paper stapler, mini stapler. Put just two staples in each end. There we go. Now, that's not going anywhere, right? Now, this is the part where we can put something behind there, but it also flips open. We could put paper over this to be a writing spot. We could layer up um, decorative things. We could put stickers and you can do whatever you want. It is that easy to create something that's individual to you because you're going to take from your stash, your um, style, your life, your junk mail, whatever it is you're going to work with. 
Let's see. You're hoarding yours. You guys are so cute. Graphics 45. <laughs> All righty. So belly band. If you want, you can do this style. You can do your style. But I have two styles here today that you can that you can um, be inspired by or come up with something else. Watch someone else's video. None of this, you guys, was meant to be that you're doing what I'm doing necessarily, except for the tasks. And even then you're decorating them or styling them the way you want. It was meant to help inspire you to get the ball rolling, right? Let's say you're watching part of my video and then you're going over and you're finishing it up with watching Jovi's video or um, there's like three others out there right now um, doing either true junk journals or junk journals uh, with me, that kind of thing. All I asked is, is that if you're doing it, add that, add the junk journal with us hashtag and let's all find a common place to go check out what everyone's doing. Otherwise, Junk journaling is a wild and crazy ride and do it your way, ride it your way. So now we have this belly band here, which is folded in half with a cut edge. I cannot wait to see everyone's Melody minus two fat help Mimi. Oh my, I tried. Mimi, did you put too many pages in to begin with? Because I did try to warn you guys. If Look at me. This is, and I didn't put many pages in. Rosie, stop chewing on that. Find a toy, pumpkin. You're being, she's being naughty because she knows. I'll notice her. Pugs are way too smart. Uh, Sheila says, I've decided no more hoarding. Use it. Make 10 covers yesterday. Still need to sew in signatures today. That's awesome, Sheila. Are you doing any of it on camera? These ladies would love to go over and check out your channel. We're finding inspiration all over the place. Okay, so I've used, let's see, what have I done here? I don't know. We have one, one corner tuck. We have one belly band. We have, that's always the hard part. Oh, we have this pocket. Now this is just a regular, you don't even have to make it a folding piece of paper. You could just have a piece of paper, All right? This is a typical basic, boom, uh, rectangular um, piece of paper, cardstock, tuck something behind it. Only glue three sides, okay? It can fold up if you want. It doesn't have to. So and there's that. So that's two, two pockets two belly bl belly blands i'm telling you i am so articulate to get today guys i am really on my i'm on my game huh oh okay sheila well maybe share pictures in the group if not if not anywhere else because some of these ladies um are in the group and they would love to see what you're doing sheila's been in the group for a long time she has got some really beautiful ideas and talent I, I just am so, now this is an envelope that we're going to be altering. I don't know at what point. So you guys vote. What do you want me to make or do with the last half hour of our little episode? Um, do you want me to decorate something? Do you want me to show you how to fold up some journaling um, opportunities? What, what, what? Do you want me to come up with something completely different than what we've been doing? Do you have a request? Let me do this stuff while you guys are writing. <clears throat> so the props for week one were altar playing card, collecting ephemera, or the prompts and tasks. Week two, fabric flips, adding pages, um, altered paper clip. I don't know why I said collecting ephemera, right? Okay, altered paper clip, old, new, borrowed, something blue. Now, this week... Okay, pens. Week three, the task is two pockets, any kind, do whatever you want, and two belly bands. And those of you that are truly new, these are the things that you're going to want to practice. And you could do you could do um, pockets and belly bands on tags. If you're not, if you're not wanting to, you know, make a whole big journal. So these are, there's all kinds of things that you can make. 
what am I going to do with the front of my signatures? The front of my signatures. So the front of this signature, either here, what, what goes on here will flow over to here. And this is where I put um, a pocket or a tuck. And then I have the this journal belongs to opportunity, right? I don't know. I kind of deliberately put this page here because this matched this pack. See this purple here and the glittery. So I don't know that this will get much done to it. Plus it already has this on it. Now the next signature, um, this is uh, a writing opportunity. So I won't decorate that. And then this one is already uh, decorative with the um, laces and that. So I probably won't decorate. Yesterday in the group later. Good, good. No, you're not, sweetie. No, you're not. I just answering, answering, uh, because the thing is, is there are, there are people now, you know, what I, what I would ask somebody is what are you going to do with your center signature? Because that's the part that a lot of times like this one, I have this here. That's a, this is a showpiece area. Sometimes not everybody does something with it, but it is an opportunity. This is my showpiece for the center of this signature. This signature, the center is this group of people, which is so bohemian. So bohemian. Look at those people, right? I could decorate or do something here, and I might, and I might not. I'll be honest with you, ladies. This book is only going to have a certain amount of work done in it. Then I'm going to put supplies in it, and then when it goes to its owner, they'll be able to finish it up because what fun would it be to just get it completed when this is a, you know, a junk journaling challenge, right? So here, if I complete the thing, then that's not as much fun as being able to do so some more work in it, right? So that's what my plan is, is to not completely finish it. Like we're going to do the things that we do and I'll do some things and then I'm going to put all these leftovers and a bunch of stash in there. Week three, tasks. Two pockets, two, two belly bands. The prompt, and I wrote it in the um, the description, ladies. But I want you guys to mix color and pattern. Okay. So I want you to get wild and crazy. It's your journal. Do whatever you want. Take some... Take something like that and put it together and make something gorgeous. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mimi's getting her. <laughs> Mimi. I'll tell you, Mimi, though. The thing is, sweetie, is that it's not going to be that stiff, that stiff of a, of a um, competition because right now I've gotten, I think, two VRs that didn't, didn't actually participate in it. And then there's a couple that have participated but didn't do the VR. So I've got to calculate, but there's there's not a lot of people that are in the running for even being put in the drawing at this point. They can still jump in. You can still catch up with the videos. You can still do everything. But at this rate, Mimi, you're looking good, right? Let's just put it that way. You're looking good. Um, but I want you guys to take the colors, right? The color and mix it with a pattern and color. I want you to, I want you to go, oh, I see that tiny bit of purple right there. So I can put it with this purple and go crazy. I want you to do that. If you're not used to it, I want you to do it really bad. I want you to do it. If you're used to it, just do it for fun and show everyone that you can do it, right? I wanted to go over this one again, junk journal with us. If you add that to your, um, your, um, so for this particular, the part we're winning the journal, you would do one VR and two tutorial videos based on the prompts that I give throughout the month. And you can do that all the way up until, um, 
July 31st. Okay. Um, I have been giving out freebies on patreon.com slash Melody Made. And if you were looking for the Boho Kit uh, digital, which is, I didn't put a ton of it in here. There's a, there's a right, this particular page is one of my pages. Um, you would go to melodymade.com and find it's not doesn't call it's not called Boho Kit. It's called Authentic Soul. Um, the hashtag July Daily. That's a fun one if you're doing anything where you're daily journaling or journaling daily this month, and it's with Sarah at Crafting and Relaxing. And this one was a patriotic, but you don't have to be doing patriotic to do it. By any means, you can do whatever you want. Hi, Chris. Yeah, we've got a party going on. We are we are having a blast with these with this boho junk journal. We are putting some crazy colors together. We are getting our our uh, patterns and textures and things and all just crazy. Okay. The other thing is if I can find. You know me, ladies. You know me. I've already lost them. I just seen them. I don't know if it was even earlier today. Alrighty. See how it is. Everything's going fine. Then the pup starts. Then the pup stops. And I can't figure out anything else. Anyways, I have two those two journals that I was making. I wanted to put a couple things in those. But I'll do it after, after the video is over. So let's talk. I'll show you quickly. Yes, there's so many. There's just... Let's see. I'm struggling with the paper clip, Michelle. Do hidden or just altered. You know what? Just alter just whatever you want. The ones that I've been doing, which are upstairs for this one, but the ones that I do, they range. I'm not so much on the hidden ones except for, um, I guess, I don't know if it's considered hidden if it's, it's not, yeah, mine aren't hidden. Mimi showed how to do the hidden one. This is not hidden. This is just altered. So just as simple as that. Because you can you can get wild and crazy later. Right? Just what we're doing is we're just we're just breaking that barrier of oh, I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. To oh my gosh, I did that one. Now I'll be able to do another one. And then I had another one. So um let's see i did find those flips get snagged when you are turning the pages um i use magnets to hold them down do anything to keep them down i have not in the past but i will tell you that i have been noticing the same thing that they kind of do that right i apps i actually have velcro little tiny Velcro, which is probably what I will do. Or um, there is the idea of sewing or attaching little charms to the bottom that will weight it down, right? That might help. So there's a few different options, but you're right. That that has become something that I'm, I'm a little beklimped about. She looks at me beklimped. What in the world is verklempt, mom? Are you okay? My little pup, I'll tell you. But yeah, I agree. You know, another thing though, ladies, is how and why those paper clips are so useful is what we could do. If I could find anything that I'm ever looking for, life would be a dream. But let's do it this way. I'm going to steal this because I'm resourceful and uh, don't feel like I have a choice. So let's say that you make your fabric flip, but you add a altered paper clip that goes along the side. Right? That matches better than that. 
and a tuck at the bottom would be awesome too. Christina says, okay, ladies, have a beautiful weekend. I need to pack going to visit my mother until Tuesday. I have no internet. Oh, bye, Christina. Have a great trip. Hi, Cindy Pratt. Yeah, there's so many different ways. And you guys will come up with, I mean, you don't have to use the same way twice, right? We use use this way and this on this page and then go over to the pink one. Velcro it down or, you know, uh, strap it down with a, that's a great idea about the band going across. Let me see what I have. You know, even look at this. Remember this that I was gifted? Wouldn't that be beautiful across there? And then have the lace come in and out of that. Yeah. Oh, wonderful ideas, ladies. That's what, that's what this is all about. That's what this is all about. Okay, so let me put my thingy back. Otherwise, I will always and forever never know where I left it. Because that's the way I roll. Okay, I really wish I hadn't buried my other two journals that I wanted to work with. I am not as organized. Even the thing is, ladies, at my best organized day, I'm a mess. So just know at this level, I'm practically incoherent. I am practically incoherent. So remember this one. I think this one's really cute. And I think it has lots of possibilities. Think of a heart punch. Think of a square punch. Think of a circle punch. Think of a flower punch, right? So this one is just a little corner tuck that has a punch out. There is, if you don't have punches as far as the edges, you can use your creative scissors, you know, that you ha that people have. You can make wavy lines. The tags um, will be coming up in the ephemera round of this, which I think is next week. Let's fold something up just for the heck of it. Just for the hack of it. Hi. Bye, Gigi. See, it's, it's, uh, she's in the UK, so the time is completely different. Okay, so this is 11 inches, and I want it to be in approximately, approximately thirds. So half would be five and a half inches. I'm going to go three and a half inches, and then we'll see what we get. So three and a half, and then seven. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit, right? Not right. I might throw a fit. I might, I might, I might. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to cut this off with the punch. I have this really pretty punch I think you guys will like. It's been one of my favorites. And it's hiding. So it doesn't get to come out and play today. I found it. I lied. It wasn't hiding. I'm blind. Okay. So this is an ornate lace paper punch that just makes this most stunning edge and it looks really good on belly bands and things but look at that isn't that beautiful Chris Chuck says I bought two bags of broken jewelry you always seem to get beautiful pieces so I'm hoping it's good laugh out loud awesome did you did you get it from a, a vendor did you get it from the goodwill show us the inside of your other boho journal Oh, that one I don't have in my possession, sweetie. That one is um, was gifted to a friend, and I've been just sharing pictures of it. I can share with you something that's really fun and can be considered boho. Um, oops. This is my course, my last last known correspondence journal. 
and I made this myself. I, I used, um, I made the spine myself. This is a four, three inch spine, three inch spine. Then I mixed media. I did mixed media on it. Boy, it's so big. I can't even get it into camera. There we go. This was because I, I got tired of, of having to keep making them, you know. So let's do a flip through of this and then we'll we'll call it a day. Okay. That's how I tie it shut is these little clamp thingies. These are called drawer pulls. Oh, thank you, Melissa. I do appreciate it. Isn't that stunning? I, I just, and this was, this was a greeting card. I cut out this was this is a Tim Holtz um, die and then you can texturize it and back here all of this is um, modeling paste okay so this is my correspondence journal and I made it and then what I did is I did this on the inside and this on the back cover this is my, this was my first galaxy and I um, collaged all, see the texture there. I collaged all those bits of paper on there first and then did it. Chris says she has one of my journals. It's for my personal use and it's above outside. Oh, thank you, Chris. Oh, you guys are all so sweet to me. Yeah, this was my, this was my joy. I was feeling um, this. Is, okay. So this is my translation of pastel grunge okay because if you look in there it's grungy right but it's pastel it was it was really fun to make i just love it all righty so in here i have pockets and pages and people's gifts and notes and letters but all of it like this is the journal kit that you guys are were the ones that purchased it this is some of those pages and then see how I put the letters in there stapled on the side so that I can unfold it. Um, this is all from my group. Um, and this is all from, I don't know if I was, 2018. It just, you guys, it was so, and I love these. These are my favorite things right here. I love junk journals, but I love correspondence journals. That makes sense that kind of texture i know isn't that amazing uh we'll have to do mixed media together maybe we'll do it maybe you and i uh michelle will do a mixed media collab this winter right now i'm working on a collab with um little missy um she's she's doing a collab and i'm just there for you know support and then I am, I just got involved in the, um, you guys, I just got involved in the Alice in Wonderland collab for next month, August, with um, Life with Patty and Kathy's Favorite Things. But you need to watch Crystal's Just Crafting Over Here video of opening her and I did a personal swap. We did a challenge to each other. And... Um, Look at the mermaid stuff. This was one of my my ladies. She was so awesome. She made this. Ah, she made this mermaid. You see? Look at that, Mimi. Or not mermaid. She did this um, seahorse. And she put little ruffles on it. They just, the creativity of people. Oh, I can't wait to see yours either. Pastel grunge. I heard you could get six months probation for that. <laughs> I'd be willing to do it. I'd be willing to do it. <laughs> uh, this is, I think, correspondence journal. See, this is jelly plating. This is a, a specialty handmade, or, uh, you know, not handmade. Well, handmade paper, but not by me. Um, I think, and this was a, um, this piece here was a, canvas for your wall and I didn't want it so I cut out the, the um I cut out the peacock and made it an insert in here and this is from our group love my tribe oh so much creativity you guys just so much creativity all the time fight the fight like 
fight like a girl melody it was uh when we were doing girl power stuff so you guys this is this is why we do it this is what journals are they can be for your own writing this is uh jelly plating original not printed out if the rest be holy so are the branches that's so sweet it's just a really like i could tear up over all this and i'll do the same when i'm going through my correspondence journal for the swap and glues and those things this is part of the kit this is a jelly plating we'll have to do this mimi this is with tape oh wait you put tape on your jelly plate with just a little bit of space between it and then you start layering up it's a really cool technique i can do that with you if you want when i ever get back to it my baby's sleeping right now thank goodness so envelopes with letters in them so there's not a lot of tuck spots in this particular type of book the tuck spots are the cards and letters right this book i had to take a signature i think i took two signatures out one and i glued the two pages together so you couldn't see the hole but i had to take some signatures out because it was too full yeah i took two signatures out see here there's no but yeah this is what i love and then this side's more vibrant this side i left vibrant and this side i i wanted it to be pearlized so you can see the pearly this is what I'd like to get back to. Oh, thank you, Chris. Sweetie, you're just such a sweet supporter of me. I so appreciate it. She wore herself out, I know. <laughs> I do, I pet them. <laughs> so, and I have other, I have other journals we could look at sometime. I have some that were gifted to me. I have some from Swaps. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a YouTube uh, thing about you know, my, my journal collection. That might be a fun thing to do. But um, think about the different ways for your journal from this um, episode to bring in journaling opportunities and then places to tuck them. Okay. So that's kind of the overview of this particular video is journaling opportunities and then places to tuck them. And remember, use the ephemera that you collected from around the house to layer up and to decorate and to do things. Um, you can use your altered paper clips in here. You can use your clusters. Um, just get the ball rolling. And then next week, we'll talk about ephemera and ways we'll make some. This one's really, I was really excited about this one, though. I'm really glad. So like, here's, this is from Mimi. I think Mimi, you're just going to always be Mimi to me because it's on the screen and it's easier than me processing in my brain. Okay, her name's Melissa, but she's by Mimi with love. Blah, 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 blah. This one, when you look in the mirror, are you more focused on the image you see or how your physical body feels? And I just loved that. I didn't want to tear it up. I didn't want to do anything to it. So I'm going to put that in there. This says magic is believing in yourself. And this is, would be a journaling opportunity. All right, so we put this in here. And what do I have left? Tags. These little tags. Maybe not that one because it matches too much. I want that. Well, that matches too. How about this? I turn it around and nothing will match. <laughs> you love the texture on the front of that journal. I do too. That's where my heart is, is doing that stuff. I used to be fabric. I got into crafty with crafting with crocheting and sewing. So fabrics and yarns. Then um, my friend and my best friend and my neighbor, um, we used to craft together here in this room and she passed away suddenly and kind of left me at a loss to wanting to do the things that I used to do. So luckily I found junk journaling, which took everything. It took the paper. We used to make greeting cards and birth clocks and wall ornaments and uh, countdown um, uh, like for Christmas, you know, the little snowman, the nose runs around until it gets to 25 or, or Halloween till it counts down to 31, just things like that. We did all that. And um, I couldn't do that anymore. I needed to, to take a break from it. So I got into junk journaling. 
And for me, it has soothed my soul many times through many things that I've been through. Um, and I just am really glad that I have it in my life. And that's why I do what I do. I want you guys to find that joy if it speaks to you that way, right? It may not speak to you that way. Maybe it's something else. The swap and glues speak to me that way too. The collaging. Let's see. Um, I love the three-tier petal flower. Thank you so much. A lot of people call me Mimi. It's my gamer name. You're a gamer? I want to know what kind of games you play. Just like everyone calls you Kiki. Yeah. Annie, I'm so glad you do, sweetie. Let me know when you're ready for, for round two from me. This is the deal. When I do round two of Swap and Glue, I send you something themed, okay? So, like, it pushes you out of your box. You're not going to have a lot of randomness to kind of go, oh, I can go this way or oh, I can go this way. I send you a theme. Um, I've sent out two for sure. I'm on my third one now, and I, I think it's fun to not do the same thing over and over, right? Push yourself out of your box a little bit more. Pressure yourself each time. Maybe not pressure. Maybe pressure is not the word. Pressure would be the word for me. Maybe not for Yes, I gl I'm glad she caught the bug, too. You make albums, too. Where'd that go? That was your first love in scrapbooking. See, I wasn't a scrapbooker. I did it for a trip to Hawaii. We went to Hawaii on our 10-year anniversary, and I made a huge scrapbook for it. But that would have been the only thing I could do because, ladies, that stuff is just a lot of uh, meticulous. You got to get straight lines. You got to have straight lines. I tear. I don't want to. Oh, there's my my uh, Ricky upstairs. Something's going on. I'm trying to see. I might I might put this in here, but I got to see where where. See, isn't that kind of cool? That's kind of bohemian, don't you think? Southeastern Brazil. That's where somebody would go. Let's put this right here. Let's try to put it right here. That I might have to try to staple it. Because that's this plastic paper right here. This is foam. Let's see. Halo, Destiny, and Skyrim. My goodness gracious, woman. You are all that in a bag of chips. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I would love to do a swap and glue with you. Annie. Yes, and Kathleen. That would be uh, Kiki and Annie. That would be a great one. Ladybug Michelle says she'll do a round two. I'm going to write that down. Ladybug Michelle. Ladybug Michelle. I Wow. What happened? I think it's because the baby's sleeping. I'm, I'm in a dancing and singing mood. Round two. I actually made a spreadsheet, you guys, for my swapping glues because I need to keep track. Because obviously if I'm going to do round two, I need to have it. Okay. So, um, Michelle which is the ladybug lady. And let's see. Kiki's enjoying them too. I think that's so sweet. My kids will love them one day. That's right. Kiki will do round two. Awesome. We'll get round twos going. And guess what? Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that first um, uh, what, 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 mail tag? Oh my gosh. Wait till you see the next one. You have got to watch for me. Watch for me to do the next one because I made a binder. <gasps> I altered a crappy old binder. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You guys are going to be like, your jaws are going to drop. What? You're going to be like, what did she do now? That's what my favorite thing to do is. I just absolutely love it. Only did one scrapbook in my life. I got bored with it. Sassy says, you know, Sassy, that's, I kind of have to say. Yeah, you got to, you got to. Mimi and anyone else, Mimi's like me. Mimi's like, she's out there swapping glue in with every human being that's like, got a glue stick. Okay. Now, when you do that, you have to, and I went through my videos and my book and I put down their names, 
their emails, how I'm con how I'm connecting with them, like if it's through Instagram, because I can't figure out how I'm talking to people. I talk to somebody on Instagram. I talk to somebody else on Facebook Messenger. I talk to someone else through email. I talk to someone else through the community. Tab. I don't remember how I, how I, you know, who I connected with and how I connected with them. So then I have the date. Then I have a little notch for how many times I've swapped with them. And then I have a little box at the end that says uh, mail, mail tag, which means... <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious, Melody? I watch everything you do. Laugh out loud. No. You guys, Mimi, you and I, I think we're kind of soul sisters. That's all I've all I can figure out. The fact that you play video games, I, I am not hardcore. Like I'm not playing uh that kind of video games, but you get me near a Lego game or a um a Mario Brothers. Um, yeah, all day long, all day long. <laughs> oh you guys this is so fun okay so let me finish this up while we're talking about the few things that we're talking oh you know what i could do i just figured it out i can glue it to this there's no reason not to that's what we're going to do do you see this this is the flap of one of the envelopes i have in there and i am going to put glue right here on the edge and on this edge so that i can leave it open for a pocket and then i'm going to do this this is why junk journals are amazing. Oh, good, Michelle. I'm so glad. And the thing is, it's not about me. I don't know. Hashtags, hashtags, oh, hashtags, they're complicated, right? There's the, there's the hashtags that benefit you professionally. There's the hashtags like I'm doing, um, you know, pug hashtags on my Instagram because of my puppy. That doesn't benefit fit me professionally, but I want to grow my community and see other little cool, um, you're dang good too. Wow. Well, you're good at everything, my dear. Um, I couldn't believe how you took to, um, you're the first person I've met that's took into jelly plating the way you did, um, right out of the box like that. So then there's the hashtags, you know, that are for a particular one-time event, right? So I, I started realizing what they do, how they do it and wanted to get involved. And I have been getting involved. And then now I'm realizing, oh, I can't do every single thing that people come up with. So I'm going to have to pick and choose and be a little bit more, you know, like what kind of time do you have, Melody? What can you do? Because I'm not going to I'm not going to put myself in the position where I'm throwing something out there because I just have to get something out there. Well, and, and I think sometimes they are, but Sassy, what's happening for me is I learned hashtags, everything on YouTube and everything on Instagram that has hashtag Melody made is all in one place. And I do that deliberately. And I have well over a hundred uh, posts, which is, it takes a long time to get there. It took me like maybe six months to a year of just every post I did, um, you know, every video and all that. Oh, that was, this is so funny. They're talking. Oh, that's cool, Michelle. You will love it too. You will love, you will love the jelly plating. <laughs> so the, um, the hashtag is for my, so when I go to my hashtag, I can see if someone else did something that I inspired them and they added my hashtag, then I can see what they've done. If we have a single event, like the hashtag, um, swap and glue you go there you see every for the all of time every video that has had that hashtag now something like the junk journal with us that's that's just a wide range that's like throwing out a net over the ocean i want i want anybody and everybody to use it if they want to i want where if they go there to get inspiration because they're part of our community or wants to be part of our community right that's why i'm doing that so the junk journal with us, if someone sees one of our videos that that's involved in, they're not necessarily part of our community, but they see that that community is doing something they like, they want to throw their, you know, crafting ability in there, then they add it. Um, you can use ganache, yes, or got, wash. I hate that word. It's easy to stock humility. It really is. The only, <laughs> I, um. I can tell you, oh gosh. 
So my hashtag became Meth Monday. I might have missed something there. <laughs> I, I, uh, Carla, did I miss something? <laughs> Oh, golly gee, that is so funny. Methotrexate. What is it? What is that? Is that the, the, is that the medication you take, sweetie? I don't know. <laughs> She'll tell us. She'll fill us in. Okay, so now I have this little puck, puck spot here. See right there? And I'm going to add a couple of these tags here. Make a little little boat of tags right there. So that's a good thing to do with the other side of it. It's one of them. Okay. I know. And I appreciate that, uh, Melissa. I do. I like that the people that are inspired by me come and, and, you know, and if I'm doing something that you're doing, I will do the same for you guys. But, um, <laughs> Kiki's like, yeah, we missed something, right? That was just too hilarious. You'll have to tell us what that's what that's about. <laughs> I'm all for sharing, but Carla, I'm not sure we understand. You're, Carla is sassy. She has it in her name for a reason. Okay, so there's my little boat of tags. And that could be anything. It could be uh, little fold-up things. It could be a, oh, you guys, really quick. I'm having so much fun and my puppy's asleep. I want to show you a folding thing. I don't know if you guys follow Lee Ann. Oh, goodness. I'm not at Bird's Nest. Lee Ann Bird's Nest. Anyway, she has a, a Facebook group. And um, her and I are kind of, oh, how do you, you know, when you're friends, you know of each other, but you're not like you've never talked in person or anything, but you know of each other for reasons. Anyway, she did this. This is called the, um, oh, what is that woman's name? Jane, Jane, I don't know. This is the way they used to do letters, okay? I want to add one of the pockets like you just did, put in the journal. Yeah, there you go. It is good to be sassy. It's fun. I was feeling left out because everyone was using hashtags. So I jumped on in on the bandwagon. You are so funny. Jane Davenport. No, Annie, it's uh, it's the olden days. Back in the olden days when they would send letters, they would fold it like this. And I wanted to share that with you because it's a really cool fold. So they folded it inside of each other like this. Right. And I'm trying to get it to work because it's like meets in the middle and I'm not getting it just right, but I'm because it's because I'm not remembering just right. So anyways, I'll show you in a second. You'll it all come together for you in a second. OK, so back in the olden days when they didn't have envelopes and things, they would take their wax. Right. I don't know if I have any thing here to show you, but I don't. So anyways, let's say there's a wax seal right there. Right. So this now is is a letter <laughs> you guys. and they would open it like this and fold it out like this. So when you watch the old movies and you see them like back in the, you know, England in 1800s and stuff, um, you guys can copy that in your journals. Look at that. You fold it together, the two sides together, then fold one end up, and I won't be able to tell you dimensions because you'll be using a different size paper than me. You fold that end into that end, and you could put the wax seal on there. You could put um, a little, uh, there's ways to do stickers that you could make it lift up. But anyway, see that? That is the olden days way to, that they did their post, post, post letters posted their letters anyways leanne at bird's nest crafts or creations i i know someone's first name that's about all i know but anyways i thought that was really cool and i wanted to share that with you guys 
There's a lot of other things that I want to share with you guys. You guys, I literally, back in the day in my group, I used to sit on, on camera for like three hours and everyone would just be like, oh, well, show me how to do this or, oh, make that. And I literally would just do 10,000 things all in one video. That's why I can't bring those videos out and put them on YouTube because they're too random. Yes, you have seen that. Good. That is a beautiful fold. It is a stunning fold. And with the right paper and unfolded and all distressed if you want and all folded out. And then inside, you know, you could you could do something like have a stencil or a stamp like this, you know, and have have stenciled this all in here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because I'm having fun listening to Sassy Carlita tell us about her medication list. I'll tell you, girl, you're a hoot. <laughs> use a hoot okay so i have this but i don't here's the here's so we're gonna do tattered rose why i don't know it's a pale pink and i like it and why am i using a purple thingy because i'll mix the two colors whatever right that has come in i don't know this might not show up enough on that vibrant well let's do this let's variegate it Gosh, I just have so much fun. You guys, I will sit here by myself and get a little bit creative. I will admit, I'm not, I'm not non-creative. But when I have an audience, oh, Nelly, do I get excited and uh, come up with all kinds of things right off the cuff. You guys just inspire me. I had more of these tips here, but I'm to the point where I think I'm just going to use the same one. And you say, can you do that? Will you be arrested? It might be. So if, who's going to bail me out? I think it might be sassy. I think it might be sassy. You going to come bail me out, sassy? You guys, I so appreciate your humor, your um, kickback attitude, your, your happy pills. See you when you're on your happy pills. Annie's petting her journal from Melissa right now. <laughs> good job, Mimi. Good job. Don't get arrested. The back of the cop cars are not comfortable. I've been in it once. I won't tell you why. But one time in my life, I have been in the back seat of a, of a cop car. I have a checkered past, ladies. No matter how perfectly housewifey I seem now I was not always this way okay so we variegated it all the way down to the bottom it's so pretty so pretty look at that just this is pretty <laughs> look how pretty is that so it just has a little bit of text there but it still could be written on easily enough. I better put lids back on. Let's see. Lids. <gasps> oh! Lids. Now my shirt has a little bit more pink on it. That's okay. Been there, done that. Life is a journey, right? Not a destination. And boy, oh boy, I hit some hot spots on my way as some of us have. But there we go. I think that's nice. I'm going to put this in our... Yeah. <laughs> Sassy. And, and the girl, the thing is, is I think I felt the same way about you. It's like, ah, you know what? I know that girl. And uh, I, or I know that feeling of knowing somebody that way. Feeling like, yeah, there's a little more to that than just what's on the surface. And that's okay. Oh, my goodness. If we were all perfect, how... Freaking boring would the world be? I never wanted to be Martha Stewart, but I'm trying not to be the really bad girl either, you know? It's always a, it's always a battle. All righty. So I'm going to put this in here because this turned out so cool. I, I think we are a group of delinquents. My halo is cropped. I think she means cracked. Annie, you cannot convince me that you had a dark side. I am sorry. You don't get to be one of the mean girls over here because, or, or not mean girls, be one of the wild girls because I can't imagine it. I just can't. 
So here's our beautiful letter that can be written in. We'll put it into that pocket. It matches everything. I knew I saved that page out for a reason. There we go. We'll, we'll start a group. The Pinky Tuscaderos. <laughs> See now, pocket right there. Almost. Yep. That'll fit in there. Oh, and I could stencil this too. I'm going to go on a stencil. I, you know, guys, I might just. That baby of mine is sleeping. And I'll tell you, when she does that, I tend to just really enjoy myself because as awesome as she is, and she is awesome. I absolutely adore her. She is a bit of a handful sometimes. But you know what? We're down to, she knows her name. We're doing great on potty training, and we're working on sitting right now, which she's doing really good. She's really eager. She's like, she's like, oh, I get a treat? I get a, a liver? He's a little dried, freeze-dried liver? Well, you know I'm their girl, she says. I'm your girl. I'll do it. How high do you want me to jump? I'm going to add red this time. Oh, geez, Louise, here we go. Um, oh, is it frozen? Uh-oh. No one can resist her charm and laughter. 47 years ago. I'm good now. Wow, Annie. Well, I just am going to tell you right now. I know for sure that Melissa and I are just absolutely over the moon that you shared your secret with us because we would have never guessed it would be melissa oh my goodness wow the world is just an amazing place the people you meet the things you get to experience Isn't it? it's a huge and vast place and yet so small for us to have run into each other and made friends I really like this stencil. I'm going to tell you. It is a fabulous. It's really, it's a good, I don't know about you guys, but I like collect stencils. And some of them, like I buy them from uh, Italy, from Chabella. And I've gotten some from Stamperia. And they're very thin. And just like if I was to buff like that, it they would move around a lot. Um, I exited and came back. So it's all good. Okay, good. Um, Annie has a heart of gold. I I agree. Okay. Ooh, I'll do some more because I didn't get the top, but look at that. Wow. Oh, come on. Fingernails. Get your groove going. Okay, so that'll help. That'll help. Okay. Well, there we go. And you know what? Look at this. Oh, and I haven't done any of this because I, I'll tell you, ladies, I'm barely getting done what I have to get done, let alone any kind of extras like this. It just really has been difficult. I had grandkids Wednesday night and overnight till Thursday evening, which I love having them. You know, we all love the grandbabies, but with the puppy and the grandbabies, it's like, okay, no, don't do that. No, don't speak that 17 times. No. Don't push her like that. I know she bit you. I mean, it was just exhausting. It was exhausting. I don't know if orange is the right color for this, but I kind of like it because it's kind of with all the other colors mixed in. It kind of has a burnt, burnt orange look to it. So I'm just kind of giving it a, this is called a silhouette look where you round off the corners and make them shadowed. I really like that technique. I do it a lot. I think it adds some depth and, and a little more, just a little more to it. Okay, I, I better catch up. Um, I love meeting new people, Annie says. I'm so grateful to be sitting with all of you. Oh, you, you're so sweet, Annie. We're 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 fangirling over you most of the time, Annie, because girl, I've seen so many of these challenges go down, and yours, you got what was it, 94 entries? You rock. That was impressive. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I think that, I think that looks nice. And then the green on the outside, a nice, uh, just, you know, calming, earthy green. And I don't think I'm going to put the orange on. I think I'm just going to leave it. But look at this. Did you know what it'll look like if you did that? You can do that to things too. See that? Stencil right through it. 
I gotta keep track of this because I got I gotta do my on my spreadsheet. Okay, so these are distress oxides, and Annie knows this most likely, but you guys, inking, if you do it with distress oxides, you will get a creamier. Um it won't land and soak in as much as it does with distress inks or regular inks. So I use the oxides when I'm doing things like that because it smears. You see how that blended and smeared? You cannot do that with a like a, a liquidy ink ink. It, the oxides, what does that? That's why I use them the way I use them. Oh, my Dan. That's right, Annie. Annie and I someday, when Annie has time, little mermaid she is, is the busy lady. Um, we're going to do some sort of uh, inky thing, inky collab, inky thingy. I don't know what we'll do, but we'll do it. And uh, someday Melissa and I are going to do something with mixed media. And uh, yeah, I'm just... Bye, Sheila. Thank you for stopping in. I really appreciate it. I'm going to put these punches away and start throwing scissors in here. And I've got to put this back in here real quick, though. Put this inside of one of these. <coughs> I really apologize about the coffin today, ladies. It's. I think I'm going to leave it to where it shows just like that. I think that's cool. Isn't that cool right there? So there is today's episode of Just Junk Journal with us. I hope you have found a few things that you like, either out of the journals that I've shown you or the journal that we're working in. I hope that you are feeling this mixed thing that I'm really trying to get through to you today, because this is something mixing patterns and colors and being bold is something that is what boho really, you're outside with your babies, is really the vibe of boho. You will, if you were to go on Instagram or YouTube and, and just, you know, hashtag boho, you're going to see the most colorful, fabulous, beautiful things. And there's a good reason for it because it's, they're stunning. You know, I'm trying to think maybe there's a way to, I don't know. I don't know. Now these, these here, I want to tell you about this. Um, these would make good um, tabs too, right? Say I cut it off right about here and I staple them on there and I could hang charms or something off of it. Pretty fun. Pretty, pretty fun. All righty. There is today's inspirations all in one little bundle of uh, colorful papers and textures and you guys leave comments under this video if something comes up to you later or email me you know that I'm always I, there is nobody that I do not return their email and I am never too busy okay I um I know, Michelle, you go play. When we get down with this, you guys go play. Get your hands dirty. Get your desk dirty. Throw some inks and papers and glue around and have fun. And then um, if you get a video made, uh, add the hashtag. And um, if, you're do if you're following along to win the journal, please go ahead and email me the links because I don't want to miss anybody, okay? I don't want to miss... Um, and I'll, I'll make an announcement before I actually finalize the people's names that go in for this journal. But I don't want to miss anybody that put in the effort because that would break my heart, right? And it would be bad. But getting ready for grandsons tomorrow, Annie. Yeah, I have three granddaughters and they were all here. And uh, they range 6, 8, and 15. And they were, they were awesome. But can girls go through toilet paper? Does anyone know? Are they in the bathroom eating it? What is the deal? Those three young ladies went through two rolls of toilet paper in two days. <laughs> you don't have to, Carlita. Just You don't have to do the link. Just email me that you did it, okay? And uh, 
I just need to know. I don't know. I'll go check the hashtag, but I just don't want to miss anybody because I'm not sure right now of everyone that's done a VR and is doing the videos. I want to, I want to kind of dial that in because you only have to do one VR and you only have to do two videos. So there's not that much. It's not like I have to keep a long list of anything, but um, yeah, you Mimi, I know what you're doing, sweetie. You're you're like me. You're just you're all I, I stalk you, you stalk me, we stalk each other, you know. I stalk a couple people and you know, it's just it's just uh I don't know. Some people, these little groups like this, you know, you start to get to know each other. That you had the off brand that Sassy says that she had the off. Uh, Oh, <laughs> off brand in their bathroom and Charmin in yours. Yep, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Bye, Annie. You have a great day, sweetie. Thank you so much for um for all the you and uh, Michelle and Sassy and Kiki and and everybody who's here, I just want to say thank you so much for the support and uh, that uh, you guys enjoy my sassy, I'm a little sassy like uh, Carlita, but not nearly as uh, uh, fun with the comments. But I, I thank you for enjoying my brand of humor, my brand of crafting. See my blouse? I got this off the internet a while back from I used to do online sales and I would wear pretty shirts like this. Isn't that fun? I got the camera too far back. You can see my, my belly. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, you guys. Bye-bye. Big hugs. See you later.